Gamma Witch, and this is a new little series I'm thinking of trying called The Salty Witch. <laughs> and it's basically where I go on little tirate rants about things that make me salty. <laughs> and uh, as the first episode, I would like to talk about cooking channels or cooking shows on like YouTube or even even not on YouTube on like syndicated networks. Can we just talk about this for a second? Look, I if you don't know me, I I love cooking shows. I watch them. They're relaxing. I like to learn from them. When I'm cooking, I like to imagine I'm making one, you know, because I'm dumb. <laughs> but there are some things that these motherfuckers do that just oh, oh, drives me up the it drives me up the wall, okay? Um, so I, I want to I wanna talk to you about this, okay? So, so like, one of the things that, like, really bugs me about these uh, cooking channels is, like, when they do the, um, the, the budget food, like, oh, you could buy this, this Big Mac for, like, $3 at, at McDonald's, or you can make it at home for only, like, a dollar. And then it like it proceeds to show you how to do it, and it's like, yeah, you just you know you you use like you crack one egg, and and oh that one egg is only like twenty five cents, and I'm just thinking, what? I, if I have a dollar, I can't go make this goddamn thing. I need like fifty dollars to buy all these goddamn ingredients. So oh, you oh, need a tablespoon of butter. As it's like twelve cents. It's like, no, it's not. I can't go to the goddamn store and I'm lying and I just put like a tablespoon of butter on the conveyor belt and an egg and like, you know, a half a cup of flour and be like, this is all I need. And there's a pinch of salt somewhere on there being like, this is all I need. Here's, here's 50 cents. I should cover all of this. Man, I, I would be kicked out of that store so far. <laughs> so I hate that. It's like, you can make this for $5. You can make this extravagant meal. And I'm like, well, shit, I have $5 in my wallet. I'm going to go make this meal. Let's see how we do it. And it's like 50 bucks later. It's, uh, why do you do this to us? Stop. Stop. It should be not how much it's going to make if you divide everything up. Because sure, you can use stuff for other things. But if I want to go make this, I need to go to the store and buy these ingredients. And I can't do that with $5. You're Miss Lady, you clickbaity bastards. <laughs> God, it drives me up the fucking wall. Uh, on a similar note, it's these, um, the cooking shows are like, oh, this extravagant dish you can make at home. You, dear viewer, can make it at home. Without having to go to fancy restaurants, blah, blah, blah. And then they start making it. And then they bust out this machinery that's like $2,000. It was like, oh yeah, but you're also going to need this, this mixer with this attachment on. And if you don't have this, you can't really make it. But you know, you can make it at home. You don't have to go to a fancy, oh, bitch, at this point, I might as well just go to a fucking fancy restaurant. Then I don't have to like worry about buying this because I'll only use it for this one thing and this isn't something I'll probably be using you know too much or like um oh you know not only do you need this but you also need this like like this specialized dehydrator machine I'm just saying like this isn't something that most people have but you're saying that people can make this at No. <laughs> Excuse me, but what are you doing? This is not. I, I'm I'm okay watching those, but don't promise that I can make it at home. If if you fucking this is not this is industrial kitchen shit. This is not something I could make at home. This is something that somebody who has a lot of money or lives in a kitchen or has a, like lives in a commercial kitchen <laughs> could make. So. Anyways, <laughs> um, the other thing that really, really, like, oh, I just, I cannot stand with, like, it's more of in baking, um, and usually, like, baking breads and stuff, but anytime that people work with their hands in the food, like, whether they're mixing meat, whether they're, like, kneading dough, and they have a fucking ring on. Take your fucking rings off. It drives me up the wall. I don't care if you like wash your hands really well and then you go putting your hands in the fucking food and then wash your hands. No, 
Take the fucking ring off. There's nooks and crannies in there. And even if even if you take the ring off and wash your hands and then wash the ring, no. You put it back on unless you're completely 100% dry. There's moisture under there which could grow shit. And you just put that on the fucking food. You nasty fuck. Take your fucking rings off. <laughs> ah, I can't even watch videos that fucking... Oh, 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 I hate it so much. I would no 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 no. It doesn't matter how much I like the cooking show. If I see that, I just I can't even with my life anymore. Ah. One of the things I really dislike about food videos or cooking videos, baking videos, is where they bake the thing and they don't fucking try it. Eat your food. I want to see the look on your face when you eat your goddamn food. Why? Why would you spend all this time and not like? eat it. Let me know if it's good. I want to hear what it sounds like when you eat it. There was this video, I was trying to look up um, something to explain what meringues were and like the texture and stuff. So I found this one and he's, he's like, he cooks them and he's like, he's beautiful. And then at the end, he's like, see, ta-da, the end. No, bite it. I don't want to hear if it sounds right. I ugh, eat your fucking food if you're going to cook it. Taste it. Let us know if it came out good or not. I hate it when they don't taste it. Good, good cooking channels tend to taste their food because people want to know, right? I don't know. This is, uh, it's like something little, but it drives me up the fucking wall. <sighs> Anyways, I just, I just need to get this off my chest. I'm a salty witch and I just need to tell you, I need to get the salt out of my system. <laughs> uh, as a bonus cooking thing, can we talk about when you look up a recipe online and you finally find one? And you have to go through a fucking novel in order to get to the recipe. Like, these people want to tell you their whole life story. And I get it, you're a blog writer. But why don't you just have, like, blogs dedicated- Like, why don't you just have a post dedicated to the story, and then just the recipe somewhere else? Like, it's, oh, well, I went on, like, vacation, like, five years ago, and we did this, and we did that, and oh, and we stopped at this little place, and it had this and that. <laughs> Anyways, I know this was stupid, it's a stupid video, but look, look, I'm trying something new, okay? Maybe I'll figure it out and it'll get better in the future, but right now, this was the first episode of Salty Witch! <laughs> if you like this, please give it a like. If it made you salty or if something makes you salty, leave it down in the comments below and I will take a look at it and I will do my best to respond to as many people as I can but I can't get to everyone because sometimes it just gets lost. Especially when people reply to other people because I don't see those. Keep that in mind. Um... Oh yeah, give this a share because sharing helps. Sharing is caring. You want to help my channel? Share the goddamn shit. Also, there's memberships if you want to join. You can be a member. There's emotes. I don't really have much else going on there right now, but maybe I'll figure something out in the future. I don't know. I'm still learning, okay? I'm still new at this shit. Um, anyways, I love you guys. Mwah. Try not to be a salty witch. Mwah. Leave that to me. Bye-bye. <laughs>